Hello there, this is Dan DeLuca, and I'm going to go through five tools that I use when I'm blogging and writing and, and or writing uh, like emails. So the first tool that I'm going to show you is Canva. It's at canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com, and it's a, essentially a free uh, image editor it's all web-based and it's got enough features to create simple but and powerful graphics so when you um, when you first go there if you haven't used canva it's 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 really simple to use it you don't have to be any kind of a real graphic artist or rocket scientist or anything to use it when you first go there the first time you definitely want to create an account so I've got an account here and um, basically what you can do is uh, select a, a popular design type and they show social media presentation poster Facebook cover Facebook posts okay and they, they, they have all these different things so you can do it for a, a cover of a, of a book you can make an infographic posters real estate headers these are all like optimized for um, any um, you know whatever you're you're doing whatever you're using uh, events ads the works right and and you can use custom dimensions as well so um, it's all it's pretty much set so what I would do is um, we'll go to this Facebook post I do a lot of that and um, so the one I clicked on it had an image so it actually will uh, okay so this is going blank so you'll see on the left here a bunch of images now they have a little dollar sign which means you have to pay for them however so I can I can collect this uh, and what I'm gonna do is since I don't want to pay I'm cheap I'm gonna delete that and you can upload your own images so you can see here along the left this is images that I've posted and all I do is when I go for a walk I'll take pictures of stuff on my phone and um, and then I can just bring it in if I want so say I like that picture and then I can uh, resize it I can uh, move it around uh, I don't know if you can see and and then there's this text box these text boxes so you can then if you go over to text here you can add some text you can move it around you can it'll help you center it by finding the center of your image you can type into it new heading you can change the colors with this thing here black yellow whatever you can add your own you get a color wheel right um, I don't get too crazy with this because it I've gotten to the point where I can create an image uh, a graphic in like f five minutes or less for a blog post or a video header and so once I've done that then um, I can just download this thing here I use, use image for web it'll download as uh, I believe it's a JPEG and you're ready to go so canva canva.com is uh, a great in uh, free uh, they, they do have a paid version um, I I there's a couple features that would be handy to have but I don't I don't pay for it so there's canva now the next thing is the Hemingway editor and that's uh, www.hemingwayapp.com and um, you can just see this it makes your writing bold and clear so Ernest Hemingway was well known for writing short punchy sentences so it will highlight long complex sentences it will um, show you some common errors and it will um, give you a little uh, statistic here so the thing uh, the way this works is you would oh well look they have a desktop app so you would actually uh, write something and then copy and paste it into here and um, you could use it to then kind of clarify and 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 shorten and punch up your text so there that's the Hemingway editor and uh, okay so you, there's a right 
So you can write in here, and then you can edit. And that's, of course, crap, but uh, it'll tell you the readability. It'll tell you how many words you've got, which is handy. Word sentences, paragraphs, characters, letters, and how much time it'll take to read. So if you're a blogger, um, this is one tool you can use uh, for your writing. Now, here's another one. It's called Blind Write. So this is blindwrite.herokuapp.com, H-E-R-O-K-U-A-P-P.com. And when you write here, you type what you want to write about. So I'll write about blogging. And it's going to um, ask you how many minutes you want to write for. I'll say uh, two. And I will, so I'm going to start writing. And so you can see uh, right here, there's a little timer. I said two minutes, and this will come, come around, and you'll see that I can't see what I wrote. So you just write blindly. And so the, the thing about this is obviously you, there's no editing going on. There's no fixing your spelling mistakes. There's no nothing. You, all there is to do is to write, um, and you just write for, and I'm writing and typing, which isn't, I'm not really good at, um, and so we'll, we'll come back to that in another minute, and so that's the blind write, a uh, great way if you're, um, if you just want to write and you just want to go, you can put in 10, write for 10 minutes, and then, and then you'll see it'll show up. Okay, now, writing, again. Write better headlines. So this is coschedule.com slash headline dash analyzer. Coschedule.com has a ton of, um, of uh, tools you can use. This headline analyzer is um, so you type in your headline there and it, you hit the analyze and it's going to give you its version of, uh, you know, it's going to give you a score. It's going to give you a word balance with these four different kinds of words. Uh, they're going to promote a, uh, a, uh, some stuff that they have, which uh, I would take a look. They've got a, a bunch of PDFs. Uh, they, so there's a bunch of analysis on your uh, headline and you can use this for a blog headline you can use it for an email subject line um, you know it, it's basically to teach yourself how to capture attention um, goes all the way down there's a bunch of stuff coschedule.com slash headline dash analyzer now here's the other here's a cool thing um, so now I just typed it I just edited that right so it gives it keeps the history of my headlines and gives you the score so um i'm going to just edit this and i'm going to see now one of my teachers who is a master a mistress at uh, writing emails um told us in a class that i took with her to um, write at least 10 headlines for every single, or 10 subject lines at least, and co-schedule I think will tell you even more. So you um, you want to write a bunch of them, and you see now this, this last one has my highest score. So, you know, maybe that's a good one uh, to, uh, to keep. You can keep going though, and, you'll, and, and then after you do 10 or 15, Pick the highest score and get going. Let's go back to blind right. So now blind right after two minutes showed me uh, what I wrote. <clears throat> so uh, at this point you can, uh, I don't even know what this does. Oh, hit, hit it. Okay. You can hide it and keep writing. So, or you can highlight it, copy it, and, you know, paste it. Uh, into your blog article. So that's blind right. Now, 
and then there's the headline edit editor. The last one is a little techie. It's for you people with uh, WordPress blogs um, or any, well, I think this is just WordPress. So this is Yoast. Yoast makes a SEO plugin for WordPress. It's pretty much the gold standard of plugins for your WordPress blog. And you can get a free version and then there's a prime premier version or paid version. So this article is on how to do 404 error page checking and maintenance. So you want to check your, uh, your site for 404, if there's any error pages showing up and Google will help you do that. And I'm not going to get into that right now. This article from Yoast, um, will tell you, See, they'll tell you how to use the Google Analytics plugin, and um, it'll tell you how to check and fix 404 errors. So you um, should be doing this. I'm about to do this myself today on uh, my website. So um, that's some tools that I use for blogging. Um, I, I use Canva. For images, there's the Hemingway editor, there's Blind Write for editing, there's Writing Better Headlines, uh, an analyzer here at CoSchedule, and then there's the 404 error page checking. And um, that's some tools that uh, you can use to uh, keep your blog in shape and keep yourself writing. So I hope that helped. Uh, come back and uh, watch for more.